When you wake up well-rested on a great mattress, everything becomes clear. Huh, I do make everything about me. Things you missed when you were tired finally reveal themselves. My passport is in the pocket of the duffel bag I took to Mexico. At Mattress Firm, we know the right mattress matters. We also know that price does too. So if you see a lower price somewhere else, we'll match it. Plus, you get free and fast delivery. Shop in-store or online at mattressfirm.com. The right mattress matters. We'll find yours. Restrictions apply. See store or website for details. On today's Smart 7, Angry Anderson won't back down. Sweden gets approval to join NATO and lots more. It's Tuesday, 27th of February. It's International Polar Bear Day and happy birthday, Timothy Spall. The Smart 7. It's news, but not the news. Lee 30P Anderson may be many things, but the world's smartest man is not one of them. The former deputy chairman of the Tory party dug his heels in on Monday on day four of a row over Islamophobic comments that he now says were clumsy. He's still refusing to apologise, though, because in his words, when you think you're right, you should never apologise as it's a sign of weakness. His non-apology has seen accusations of Islamophobia in the Tory party gathering pace. With Lee now suspended, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak headed off to do a round of media interviews, but repeatedly refused to call Anderson's remarks prejudiced, including on BBC York. Clearly his choice of words wasn't acceptable. It was wrong. and That's why the whip was suspended. Words matter, especially in the current environment where tensions are running high. And I think it's incumbent on all of us to choose them carefully. With the Reform Party leader Richard Tice urging 30p Lee to join his party, Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer was in no doubt about what the remarks and Rishi's reaction to them demonstrated. It's Islamophobia and the Prime Minister should call it out for what it is. The reason he won't is because he's so weak. If they're re-elected we're going to have five more years of this. There was further chaos in the Commons on Monday as the Speaker rejected requests from the SNP for an emergency debate on the war in Gaza. He refused on the grounds that the government is due to make a statement on Tuesday, but it provoked more outrage from SNP Westminster leader Stephen Flynn. Meanwhile, Mohammed Steyer, the Prime Minister of the Palestinian Authority, and his government resigned on Monday. It's following intense pressure from the US as the authority has long been seen as corrupt and in need of revitalisation in the event of future political settlement with Israel. This decision comes in light of the political, security and economic developments related to the aggression against our people in Gaza and the unprecedented escalation in the West Bank and city of Jerusalem. Monday saw US President Joe Biden saying he hoped for a ceasefire by the end of the weekend. With an Israeli delegation on the way to Qatar to work on a possible peace deal, Prime Minister Netanyahu has shown no sign of backing down on the promised military assault on Rafa. He spoke to Fox News on Monday and he now says any assault will require civilian evacuation and acknowledged that the civilian casualty level has been high. Our strategy right now has always been to try to get civilians out of harm's way and we've been largely successful. The ratio of civilians to combatants killed is now down below one to one, which is just unheard of in this kind of crowded urban warfare. As Ukraine marks two years of Russia's war, leaders gathered in Paris at the invitation of French President Macron to provide what he called a wake-up call. 30 heads of state and top officials attended, including Foreign Secretary Lord David Cameron and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, while Ukrainian President Zelensky joined by Zoom. Macron has become concerned that as USA dries up, European allies need to work more closely together to help Ukraine win on the battlefield. It came as Hungary finally approved Sweden's membership of NATO, which sees the alliance grow to 32 members. But there was criticism from the UN as Secretary General Antonio Guterres called out his own Security Council for their response to world threats. The Security Council is often deadlocked and able to act on the most significant peace and security issues of our time. The Council's lack of unity on Russia's invasion of Ukraine and on Israel's military operations in Gaza has severely, perhaps fatally, undermined its authority. The Prime Minister's decision to axe the northern leg of the high-speed HS2 rail line has attracted criticism from all quarters, including the National Infrastructure Commission, who called it deeply disappointing. Transport Secretary Mark Harper was trying to put a brave face on things on Monday morning as he announced a wave of new investment in local transport from the HS2 savings. He's promising a new £4.7 billion local transport fund to be split between the North and the Midlands, aimed at reducing congestion and upgrading local bus and train routes. 
Rather than spending a third of the entire government's transport budget on a single railway line, we decided to stop doing that and spend it instead on transport projects across the country, recognising that the vast majority of journeys that people take are local ones. Still to come on the Smart 7, Kevin Costner saddles up again and Coventry cut short Maidstone's dreams right after this. When you wake up well-rested on a great mattress, everything becomes clear. Huh, I do make everything about me. Things you missed when you were tired finally reveal themselves. My passport is in the pocket of the duffel bag I took to Mexico. At Mattress Firm, we know the right mattress matters. We also know that price does too. So if you see a lower price somewhere else, we'll match it. Plus, you get free and fast delivery. Shop in-store or online at mattressfirm.com. The right mattress matters. We'll find yours. Restrictions apply. See store or website for details. Welcome back. There was good news for Everton fans on Monday, as after an appeal, the FA reduced their point reduction from 10 points to 6 points, which sees them up to 15th in the table. There were two games on Monday night. West Ham faced Brentford in the Premier League and won 4-2. Meanwhile, in the FA Cup, the fifth round got underway with non-league Maidstone United facing championship side Coventry. Maidstone were hoping to carry on giant killing, but Coventry were too strong for them and it finished 5-0. The fans were still delighted at their cup run and Maidstone's manager, George Ellicobi, was proud of what they've achieved. How can I not be proud of our community? How can I not be proud of our players? They gave it their all today. That's all we ask of. They ran, they fought, it wasn't enough, we understand. But again, at the same time, these are the moments we, we live for in football. So massive, massive congratulations to our boys and our supporters. The second part of director Dennis Villeneuve's epic Dune drops this Thursday on Leap Day. The early reviews have been great and at almost three hours long you're getting plenty of epic for your money. The cast has expanded for the second movie with new additions including Florence Pugh and Austin Butler alongside Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya. One of the new cast members is the legendary Christopher Walken and he says he's been a long-time fan of Dune. I, I had read the book uh, when I was young. I'd seen the first movie so I kind of grew up with it. But uh, this version of Dune is, is uh, something else. I don't think anyone on the planet loves being a cowboy more than Kevin Costner. He's had a great run of roles, including a modern-day cowboy in Yellowstone, but now he's bringing a real passion project to a cinema near you. It's called Horizon, an American saga, and the first two chapters, which make up movie one of a possible four, are due to drop this summer, only weeks apart. It's a truly epic tale of the Wild West, with settlers and Native Americans battling it out, and a phenomenal cast including Costner, who also directs along with Sienna Miller, Sam Worthington, Giovanni Ribisi, and many, many more. Saddle up for Movie One, Chapter One, on June 28th. You and I are standing guard in one of the last great open spaces. These people think that if they're tough enough, all this will be there someday. There's no army of this earth We'll stop those wagons coming. You've been listening to the Smart 7. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 a.m. Hit that follow button and have a great day. Give us seven minutes, and we'll give you the world. When you wake up well rested on a great mattress, everything becomes clear. Huh, I do make everything about me. Things you missed when you were tired finally reveal themselves. My passport is in the pocket of the duffel bag I took to Mexico. At Mattress Firm, we know the right mattress matters. We also know that price does too. So if you see a lower price somewhere else, we'll match it. Plus, you get free and fast delivery. Shop in-store or online at mattressfirm.com. The right mattress matters. We'll find yours. Restrictions apply. See store or website for details.